Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. Oh, and today, right, we're in Leeds. We're in a place in Leeds, Farsley, and I'm going to a place called Grumpy's Woodfire Pizza and Bar. And I'm thinking to myself, Grumpy's, I might have to see dwarfs here or what? Eh, that little grumpy fella, is he having me around for a pizza? And then I'm thinking, it, well, it don't make sense because pizza's like an happy meal, isn't it? Not from burger place, but it's an happy meal to have. I'm ranting on now, I'm sat in my Yorkshire pudding t-shirt, got a big belly out like a Yorkshire pudding, split me hand full of gravy. All right, but I'm going off topic now, so we're going to go for the pizza. Now, apparently, it's a bit weird at this place, which I thought straight away, must be because it's Grumpy's. But anyway, let's go to Grumpy's, let's see what's going on, and let's see if his pizza can make me smile. Let's go. I think we're down here, cameraman. Cheers, me, cheers, me, baby. It says pulling here. What's that say there? Bohem. Bohem. Right, we'll get here. If these guys will let us in. Oh, pizza, pizza, I love my pizza. I do love my pizza. Yeah, bet your bottom dollar I love my pizza. So I think it's down here. Must be one of these down here. So let's go and let's see what Grumpy up to tell Mike off. Uh, hey, Mike, how are you doing? All right, a bit daft today, guys. There we go. So let's go see how tall Grumpy's is doing. Let's rock out this new t-shirt. I don't think I look too good in white. I've got a better like Santa here. Or oh, this for Christmas. So come on, let's go. Da -da -da -da. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, I felt like I was about 80 years old then getting out of there. It's old knacker cracker, get that away. Oh. So what do you reckon? One of my lovely followers sent me this. 100% Yorkshire pudding. Eh, that's what I am. Oh. Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, me and cameraman, we look like twins, you know, he's got white t-shirts on, we look like twins today. Don't we, bruv? <laughs> right, come on. Hey, up. Oh, it's old table. Come on, Dan, take it easy. Right, grumpy's. Oh, I hope he's ready for me if he's grumpy. I'm a bit cheery today, aren't I? Yeah, bit on, bit on the old happy side. So I think grumpy's is down here somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I can see it. Oh, that's big enough. It's all grumpies. Right. Oh, so, pizza. Looking forward to this. Nice bit of pizza. See what's going on. Yeah, it's all grumpies. It's lovely day outside and all, isn't it? Weather's there for it. I think it is a bit tight this, though. It's showing off my fat bits. <laughs> I've got a few of them. Right, guys, this is it. So, let's go in and let's see what it's all about. Oh, in fact, no, it says wait here. Please wait to be seated at our host day. Oh, wait inside. Right, come on. Oh, look at this. This is all right. I love you, all right? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Amazing. So I've come down to try out some apparently wacky pizza, what you do. Yeah. So what, what's all that about then? Well, you'll have yeah. to see and try, won't you? We've got an extensive list on the menu. An extensive um, list. <laughs> I, I would definitely recommend either like the Huey. The and what's them? What's on them? Uh, so the Huey uh, is basically I take on like a meat beast, right? Uh, and then actually, I would, I would go for the Gene as well. It's a bit of a different one. It's got like goat cheese, parmesan, walnuts, or the Rosa. Uh, that's a very popular one. So if I were going to go for two, which two would you go for? Oh, if it was me. I would either go for Lola. Yeah. Uh, that's a little bit different, so you've got some honey on there as well. Oh. Uh, salami, some walnuts, uh, or the Billy. So that's got Andusia bolognese on it as well. Oh, you've done me now. Aye. Uh, but any of the pizzas, you can add extras as well. I'll tell you so what then. It up a little. I'll go for that, Huey. Yeah. And then that Lola sounds good. Yeah. Because that absolutely. just sounds a little bit. With walnuts and honey yeah, on yeah. That, that sounds nice that yeah, sounds a bit uh, thingy so can I have them and then can yeah. I have a bottle of water as well please love that's all right yeah. do you want still or sparkling uh, still please yeah of course yeah, and how much is that love mm, I'll have to bring it through for you yeah, yeah. no worries no worries do you want to sit in or out uh, I'm going to sit outside if that's all right yeah, that's perfect. yeah so I'll just go set the table yeah, yeah. up and we'll sort it out yeah lovely all out for you. lovely thank you no worries right guys come on let's go set up out here Whoa, look at that guys, that looks good. <laughs> so you, you go in there, it smells nice in there, you know. You can smell pizzas cooking fresh. Oh, 
So I have got a bit of a weird one. It's got uh, walnuts and honey on. <laughs> How weird is that? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, this is it, you see, with pizzas. I think people are starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit creative, aren't they? So, it's all knacker cracker away. Chair test. It's holding out this, you know. It's holding out. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's many of you that have thought this would have been gone by now. I haven't had it reinforced, let me tell you. So, like I said, let's roll it on. This is from one of my, my followers, my 100% Yorkshire pudding. I've got Yorkshire there, Yorkshire there, and a big one of you. <laughs> so thank you very much. So, yeah, so it's uh, wood fired pizzas, which, as you know me, I love wood fired pizzas, absolutely gorgeous. But it's with a bit of a twist. It's not, you know, I've got one with your sort of normal toppings on, and then one that's going a bit wild. Hey, oh, well, it's sat down two minutes, and they're after bit wasps. Look at this. Thank you. Long for you. Okay, love. Five minutes tops. Lovely, thank you. Look at that, guys. Huh? Bit of water with ice and lemon. Oh, there we go. Somewhere down there, where the whistle. So it's a hot day today. It's quite warm. And uh, oof. Yeah, need to refuel on this, don't we? Keep hydrated and all that. Especially me, I've got a big belly to hydrate. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that ice. Oh, do, you know what, do you know what that tastes like? Water, gorgeous. <laughs> It's giving me another half a glass of water, that. Ah. Oh, what, what is it, anyway? Bit, bit of bellow. Bellow, bellow, blah, 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 blah. Natural mineral water. There you go. Right, there's 15, 15 can transform one life with clean water. So it's water here, that's good. Some money from this. I'm glad I like it when people do stuff like that. Companies do that. They get stuff that's, that's giving back. It's good. So I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to try this pizza. I think I'm going to leave the weird one to last because the fact of having walnuts and honey on a pizza as well as normal toppings. You know, I've had sweet pizzas before. I've had pizzas that have had chocolate on them with marshmallows and, and all that kind of stuff. But never one that's... Here we go. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, I've got your there, there. oh yes. Yeah. Look at that. Um, Billy, would you like any chili oil or salt and pepper? Uh, no, I'll be all right with that. Thank Amazing. you, love. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Looks lovely. All right. So look at these guys. So it's like a like a bit of like of a bolognese, isn't it? This a bit of greenage on. Not not too keen on greenage. Oh, it's red hot, let me tell you. Oh, it smells amazing. I've just licked a little bit off my finger there. Not that I could smell that. I might have to wait half an hour for this. Oh. <laughs> let me tell you this. Right, it's a, hey, oh, yeah, I'll come, mate. Right, guys, let's get into this one. 
Oh. oh, I'm telling you. Look at that. Oh, look at the cook on the bottom of there. Absolutely beautiful. Nice and soft. Crisp on the edge. Nice bit of charring. The flavour. Very nice. It's got like a bit of spice to it. You can feel that bit on the cheek. Oh, the cheese. Hey, oh, come on, pal. Not yet. This is going to got onion look. It's after it, innit? Come on, mate. I'm going to try it crust. I'll tell you something. That crust is bang on. Oh, listen to that. I love when you get the little air bubbles and you get a bit of a crunch. Oh, that's one of a go here. Hey, up, mate. Come on, pal. So look guys, it's just that that's just perfect that. In a wood fire win, you get the pizza coming out like that. Eh, these get hey, oh, come on mate. These guys know what they're doing. So the cheese in here, there's shavings of parmesan on there as well. This is what's giving it a really, really nice strong flavour. Yeah, so I brought you some dips some chili oil, a little bit of oil with balsamic. Some pesto and garlic mayo there for you. Thank you very much. So that'll be great. Yeah, so oh, that's it. Thank you. How's the pizza for you? Absolutely beautiful. Yes. God, this has got a bit of a kick, that, hasn't it? It's got a nice it bit does, of. Yeah, it's the, it's, it's the andouja. Yeah, yeah. And the bolognese. Yeah. Gives it that little bit of spice to it as well. Lovely. Amazing. Thank Lovely. You. Thank you, love. That's it. So I could feel it at the back of my throat coming through. A little bit of a kick. Now we're talking. Right. Bit of pesto here, look. This is what you want with your crusts, isn't it? Bit of, bit of a dip. Oh, that's strong. Oh, yeah. So, with this, the combination of flavours, just really got your strong cheese, got your bolognese, the news like she said, they're coming through, that's what's kicking the spice in. And it gets you. It's really soft, and then you get to that nice crisp base. <laughs> My favourite with pizzas, bit of garlic mayo. Oh yeah, amazing. Right, let's have a look at this. So, this is the one that sort of weirded me out a little bit because there's no tomato base on it. There's not a cheese on it, but you've got bits of salami on there. You've got some chilies on there, nuts and honey. If this is going to be a weird, look at that cameraman, a weird flavour combination, this isn't it? Uh, walnuts, honey, chilies, cheese. Huh? Right, oh, smell. I think it was, it went in my ear oil. Right. Oh my. A tough one, I caught this one. I hope it's back again, not too lad. Right, so <laughs> let's make sure we get a bit with everything on. Let me get the full flavour, don't we? Hey, oh, come on, mate. Thank you. I tell you guys, these last few reviews I've done, they're not leaving me alone, them are they? Right, so, so again, look at that. Nice clean bake, beautiful. Alright, it's got Beautiful crust on there, look, little bubbles popping up there that are all burnt off. But this is what I want to try. <laughs> it just smells weird. It smells nice but weird. Let's go for it. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. This is going to be an album to describe because. You've got, so the cheese, the base here, it's quite thick, all right? I mean, I'll drink a water, because that chilli's just bent my mouth out. Well, I wanted to taste it. There's a whole thing with a bit of everything. The chilies are red hot, but I'm so glad I did, because the cheese, right, is really thick. So you bite into it, but you can taste the walnut straight away. Then you've got the sweetness coming through. And you've got a little bit of saltiness then. From the salami. Oh. 
Yeah. But then a weird weakness from it, not it? That's It's weird. But it works. And that's what I like. It reminds me a bit of a bit like a, a maple bacon. Look at all this honey. And beautiful crust again. Oh. So that guys. That has blown me away for the pizza. The traditional toppings of tomato base. Straight out what window. Let's get funky and creative. The cheese and the honey just, just creates a whole different thing. That is an absolute winner for me. So, oh, oh. I'm enjoying this. Let's go through it. Oop. Beautiful cook all over. Right guys, so we've got a beautiful bolognese pizza here. The base is on both of them. They're just brilliant, they're just beautiful. Nice even cooked, they're, not, they're just the right thickness. Nice and soft up bottom, but the edges are really, really nice and crisp. Now with this one with a bolognese on, so it's beautiful cheeses on there, finished off with some parmesan and it just, it just tastes brilliant. All right, it's got a little kick of spice to it, but it's a really, really tasty pizza. Then this one, like I said, it, it, it is weird and wonderful. All right, it, it's blown me away because it's not your traditional tomato base on it. It's just got the cheese on there, you've got the salami that brings in the saltiness, you've got the nuts there, the, you know, walnuts, they're a very strong tasting nut, aren't they? So as soon as you crunch into it, you can taste that straight away. Combining that with the chilies, the heat from the chili and the sweetness of the honey, it just works. It's absolutely amazing. I love pizzas and I love this. For me, guys, it, it, it's, a, it, it's a solid 10. I can't give it no else because it's just a perfect cook, perfect toppings, somewhat weird and wonderful, and this is what I'm looking for. So, you know, if you've been here, let me know. All right, if you've not been here, come try it out. As I say, guys, it's a 10 from me. I'm loving this. I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, my God. This crust is amazing. What a pizza.